Ah, hello. My goodness. I'm gonna run this season of the week. This might be a fast season of the week, so I might be able to squeeze into the community race. Probably not. I'm not gonna try to. If I don't make the community race, that's okay. I wasn't really planning on making it. I kind of forgot it was tonight, and I was like, oh wait, it's tonight. I don't feel like necessarily running in it. I don't know. The community races are, are nice, but like... <sighs> I'm also very tired a lot of the time, and I think I just have energy for City of the Week tonight. Uh, we have... Let's look at the flags, they're very short. Not a lot of flags. So it's no objectives. K-Main. P-Shop. So I will be checking shops. Uh, see relaxed, Jabilities. The characters can just all show up as soon as possible, so character checks are super high priority. Uh, T-Wild, S-Wild Free, so basically Supermarket Sweep. Uh, B-Standard Wyvern, we don't get Duke Glitch. Uh, no and none E-Toggle. And the only extra flag that's on is the Spoon Flag. So this is fairly straightforward, I think. It's basically Supermarket Sweep without objectives. Let's go. So, we're gonna have to keep low-level strats in mind. Edge is amazing! Heck yes. Pan, it's K-Main. Uh, Kenazo's there, we may have to fight Kenazo later. The goal is to find x or a good spear or something for Edge to throw. Uh, I'm gonna turn that volume down just a tiny bit, because I think it's a little loud. Actually, I think my mic is just loud in general. Yeah, let's turn it down at just a, just a scooch. So my usual play on Supermarket Sweep, gosh, I'm so used to mashing through objectives. Heck. We beeline it for Mist, for Mist Village. Mist Village always has the goods. I'll take Sork Robes. Those are good, although I'm not sure how long we'll be keeping radio. I want already bows, and I also want at least a couple mute knives. Uh, I should have maybe bought a. Yeah, we'll buy a silent staff as well. Those are very good. Next town. Typo. This is why I go here. They're two very close to each other. Gungnirs will do. Um, yeah, they're better than Ninja Stars, so there's no reason to buy anything else. Gungnirs are my dart. For right now. Uh, let's check you, your Sid. I don't care about Sid. Sid is not important. We can now survive against anything. I'm going to pick up Stardust and Boreas's as well, just so I have more things to toss for AoE. Let's grab those two. Get me out of Kaipo. Um, we may not take this character if this character is bad. This character is not bad. That is not a bad character. We take. We, we take that character. Yes, please. I would like to do some checks, but like, I think doing some general like overworld stuff is better. 
so my priority now is going to actually be heading down to Mysidia to do shopping here and check these characters. Trying to run in a bunch of shops early. I suppose I'll buy some of those and some meat arrows. That's all I really need there. We can out anchor. I really didn't need the ninja shirts. It's fine. Grab 99 elixirs just because. I kind of want to shop everywhere. I'm very tempted to. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll do a little bit of shopping everywhere. At least all the important places, like Silvera and Troya, and then probably Fabul. Not Agrit, because Agrit's bad, and Baron doesn't have, like, a... Uh, I could use... I could... I'm fine with Rune. Rune is decent. Uh, anything better than gun years to throw? Hello! Yes, please, we have Excals, which are the best dart. I think I'm done shopping. Or nearly done shopping. Heck. Focus. So since we're done shopping basically, let's just start clearing things. I would like to clear some bosses for Fu. But we're gonna start with Antlion. I don't need to open any boxes. We've got Excals to throw. Throwing Excals equals basically we win the seed. That is just how we win the seed. Uh, we're gonna put everyone in the back row, stick Edge in the middle because Edge is the thrower. And I want him to be my anchor because he's fast. Hi, Karate. Boom. 4,000 damage. Instant death to anything on the overworld, basically. So I can now just tear through the overworld checks. So fast, so I may as well just steamroll through them. Twin Harp is a check as well. That's kind of long. You don't happen to know exit, so we'll just move along. Every boss we kill does get through one more spell. I forgot to check the characters in this video, which was like half the reason I went there. My goodness. That's a big oopsie on my part. Oh well. Let's go back to Mesidia and check there. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to worry about any of that. There's no character that really breaks the game for me, open for me at this point, but, you know. It's still good to have characters. Rosa is not terrible. Not ideal, but not terrible. Uh, second Foo is not bad, assuming I get through some bosses. Every boss I beat teaches the foos three more spells, so we'll t we'll keep taking foos until we run out of foos to take. Out of my way. Um, Baron Inn, I think, is the next best check. Two bosses here, they're very fast uh, to just push through. Riddy is probably on, going to be leaving pretty quickly. Uh, I should check item shops just because I could get like a Bahamut summon, which would make me care about Rydia. Leviathan I also do care about. I'll take a stack of silk webs and a stack of heal pots as well. Hi, Bones. Thank you for the GGs. I did see it. 
when uh on yet yeah, last night i just didn't it was on, i was on restream so you know not really in chat <laughs> or watching chat as much probably should have used a stardust here instead of flame but that's fine few lunars go bye bye Who else do we take out? We took out you. I should be more aggressively clearing bosses. Uh, Yang is not great. Um, Ogo is going to have a bad day. Edge with Excal makes Ogo so easy. If we did not have Excals to throw, that would be so much more annoying. The Hook. That could be our underground access. That really incentivizes me to clear the overworld, though. Just clear every check on the overworld. I do not care about Yong. No. Yong is not joining. We also do need to keep on the lookout for Sirens and Bacchus, because those are good. More edges is also a good thing if we can find those. I may actually go for Damsey and Hobbs now. Yeah, let's Dampsey and Hobbs. I'm also going to peek this Waterfall boss. And maybe take the Waterfall boss for some Foo spells. I might take these two bosses just to power through up. Uh, this is an annoying boss. I'm not taking that. That's a slow boss. Too many hit points. Don't care. We'll raise the Hovercraft, though, and get this character check. I shouldn't have even opened that box. Why did I open that box? Anyway, it's another Yong. I didn't, I don't want you. Yong is not good on S Wild. He, he's good at being like decent damage without gear, but like, I have all the gear. So like, I don't need him. He's just not that good. I'm sorry, Yong. But you fail to live up to the rest of this party. Edge should be able to one-shot either with a Stardust item or a Dart. So I'm really not scared of this spot. Uh... Boreas, I think it is actually, because the Boreas is slightly faster at animation. We'll send you home. I think the Boreas has a faster animation than the Stardust. So we're going to chuck that, because it's plenty of damage. I'm taking this because it's a fast fight to get uh, the Foos around the spells. Because three, every set of three spells is good. The more spells I can get on the foos, the faster they can become useful. Uh, we'll hit up the bull and ordeal. Mm, let's go ordeals. Ordeals first. Ordeals for bull harp. That's the route right now. I could fade harp. This harp's kind of long. Ordeals is not long because Edge can one-shot everything, so... It's not a huge deal. Uh, there's more shops in Eblin, so I'll probably check those. I maybe want to check Aggard as well. Tella is not important. At least not at this point. Uh, C Bai is not on, so I can go back and pick up characters if I want them. Like, if I really want that Tella, Yong, or Sid, I can go pick them up later. I don't need to save. I've got Edge, and he's got an Excal to throw. Oh, you're not going to get one-shotted because you've got extra hit points. I hate you. Commit three. Boom. I have lit three though. Boom. Goodbye. No more mom bomb.
A little annoying, but it's fine. I'm gonna change rows just for technicality. Oh, hey, Val! Back attack, Val! Neat! We know how rude you are. That's totally fine, I don't care if you uh, weak me. I'm just using the time to animations because this Excal uh, one shots for sure. Uh, let's get the gun gears up here as backup darts. Uh, let's make sure this and this are up high in my inventory. Rearranging some inventory stuff. We do have a huge stack of ribbons, so that's nice. Goodbye, Valvalis. Final fight up here. I mean, every boss fight is three more spells for Fu, so it's all helpful. Because if I can get the two Fu's online, we're probably set, assuming I can find Star Veils, which I have not found yet. Legend Sword's a waste. Unfortunately, it's not value. You are obnoxious. You're gonna take an item and a dart. Uh, maybe we dart a gun near here just to save on uh, x -Cals. Yeah, we're gonna throw a gun near here instead of an x because it still does the job just fine. Gungnirs are my backup kind of bad darts, but still decent enough darts that I can use. If I don't need an Excal to, th if I don't need to throw an Excal, I can still throw a Gungnir and it's fine. Ah, uh, that's ordeal's done. So Cecil's a paladin now. Tell has learned his spells. Yeah, I feel like I should check Agart and then Eblin shops pretty soon. Um, maybe after Harp. Because we still got Fabul and Harp to check. Oh. But yeah, having the edge is definitely really nice. Why am I saving? Edge is just gonna win. We're just gonna throw an X-Cow and win. Oh, I should also shop here. This is a shop, and Troy has a shop, set of shops that I haven't done yet. We want that pass. Definitely want that pass. I don't think I need exits. I don't think I'm gonna really get- well, I might, actually. Fu doesn't have exit yet. Um, I don't even know why I'm taking that. I really don't need it. Um, You've got exit. Okay, we don't need exits. That's all I need to know. Let's knock this out. Gun, you're strong enough here. I don't really don't know why I'm conserving my Excals. It doesn't matter. I have so many and they're free, but I just would feel bad if I ran out somehow. And I have a perfectly good stack of gun gears to throw. Baron key. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Fine game. Give me another thing I can do on the overworld, I guess. Does open up another weapon armor shop though, which is nice. I like more weapon armor shops. We gotta go shopping in Troya still, so let's do that. Armor-wise, I'm just hoping to find Adamant's really. 
I don't care about anything else at this point. I'll grab a, one of those and one stack of arrows for back row glitching purposes. Dragoon Lance is not really a thing I'm going to throw, it's more a thing... Oh. Um... That answers that part of the seed. I hope there's no wapples in here. Okay, there aren't. I haven't found any double... Uh, so, uh, I think we're just gonna stick with this party. Forgot about apples. Darts are great and all, but, uh... We gotta find an HP base J item pronto. This is gonna take a bit. That's the fastest I can do that, actually. Let's just do it at that rate. That's gonna be faster. Yes, this is going to be a 9,000 HP radio. It's fine. Okay. We're just going to give all of the HP. We're just going to give the party that I've got all the HP, and this is going to be my party, and I don't care. This is honestly a perfectly fine party. Get these apples used, so they're not in my inventory. Yay, eating apples. Getting more damage. Edge is probably still going to be throwing things for a bit. We can still throw things with him. We can't one-shot the Cave Magnus boss with him, though. Which is unfortunate. More apples. Get these foos up to maximum HP. We're going apple seed strats. And it's gonna be glorious. I actually kinda wanna check Eblin shops now and aggro early then. I really hope there's not gold apples there. Okay, Edge, we're gonna buff you up now. Just keep eating apples, it's fine. goodness. Yay, apples. I know this is not very exciting, but, uh, it's the seed. I can't believe I forgot apples were a thing.
Where are HP based jelly items somewhere? I don't I definitely did not check Baron shops either, so we may go there as well. We'll check Agar, Edwin, and Baron shops really quickly and then just start clearing again. Then go back to clearing. There's gonna be like gold apples in Agar now. Okay, let's get Rose's HP up. Sinking the apples in. And then we'll. <laughs> Almost done. We got three characters up to quad nines. Working on the fourth one. I've just been sitting here for like minutes feeding my party apples. Oh well. This is gonna get me ready to just steamroll through the seed with J items if I can find them. The Excal darts are still worth a decent amount, and they'll improve with levels, but. Like, as we go. Okay. Last party member. Starting to eat apples. Thank you, shopkeeper, for all of your apples. We have apples now. We have we have all the hit points now. All the hit points. This is my party, it's fine. I'm going to go check Agar to see if I can find an HP based J item, because I don't think I saw one up to this point. Not HP based, but we'll take those. Unfortunate. We'll also dip in here. Nothing great. Well, actually, hold on. We'll take five iron rings for Magnus. I don't want white spears, they're not as good as X Gals to throw. I mean, because I'm committing to this party, it's basically just throw. Just throw. And apples. Okay, I need to grab my hovercraft. I need to, yeah, I need to grab the hovercraft, carry it over to hook route, we'll see what's in this item shop. Please let there be HP based J items. If not, it's not the end of the world, but I would really like to find them sooner rather than later. And I would li not like to see gold apples. Gold apples would be bad. Because that means I spent wasted like three minutes. 
feeding everyone silver apples. We are not HP based, unfortunately. I don't think I've seen anything HP based then. Mist would be real nice if we can roll mist on the Grimoire, but that's, you know, that's a long shot. Let's go... Let's see, there's, I know there's nothing in try. I'm gonna stop by Baron and go do Baron first because there might be things in Baron. HP base J items... Heck yes. Okay. We have an HP base J item now. Uh, do I even want to shop here? Like, I don't even know if this is worth it. Probably not. Let's do Baron. I've got blizzards and I've got an, uh, this party. We are going to relocate my blizzards to the top of my inventory. I'm going to do some re-equipping. Right, you can't wear anything because my inventory is full now. you just in case I do want to hit with you but you're probably not going to be hitting because we've got infinite hit points so everything's fine we don't have infinite hit points until we get a heal which I'm going to do in Magnus but once we get there we get infinite hit points and I no longer care about basically anything Val's already gone and she's really the one that casts weak So we're just gonna sleep through here. I've got x to throw. I can always use an elixir to get to heal someone up and then have them toss the items. Because I do have to actually heal someone. Uh, we'll probably find to just throw x at these things. The x should one sh the x should be one-shotting these bosses, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. That doesn't quite do it. This ice three will. Even with the remedy. Boom. Eight thousand damage. Yeah, you're you're very weak to ice. Level up. Not totally useless. We still get and get some spells on Rosa and Rydia, and Edge will get better with darts. And of course, every boss kill is three more spells for the foos. Which is not nothing. They may eventually learn big, big spells like Nuke, which will still do more damage than tossing the J items will. The J items are really just to get me there. Yeah, whatever, you can do one damage, I don't care. You're dead now. Please, please keep playing the seed. Or seed keep running. Ooh, nice. Blink for Rosa already. Dang. Okay. More spells. Palum, I do not care. Sorry, you're too late. I've already used all my apples. Go away. We've committed to this party. Which is fine. They've got 10,000 hit points each. And it's not a bad party. We have an edge who can throw things and... I mean, we are ready to basically destroy Zeromus, 
as soon as I get the crystal. Because I did find a pass. So yeah, as soon as I get the crystal, we can go charge right into Zeromus and set up some veils and just toss a bunch of J items at him and have him nuke himself and also just do a bunch of J item damage. Like, I don't need anything else for Zeromus. Magma is nice. That lets me skip the hook route. So we definitely take that. Uh, that's actually going to pull me away from Harp. Though. Because right now, I absolutely need to check underground. We need to go Fey March into, Pan, into Pan checks, into Sheila checks right away. Because those are very fast checks that I can knock out. Uh, Bedward is also a thing that I just remembered. You know... You know what, I faded it this long. I'm gonna keep fading it for a bit. I'm gonna fade it until after the Magma and Sheila. After Fey March, Ruby, and Sheila. It's fine. We'll grab it right before I do Harp. I'm gonna feel real bad if Bedward's the crystal, though. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so bad. I do not want Bedward to be the crystal. I'm not gonna worry about shopping here at all. I think I am totally fine. We can tank multiple big bangs with this party, like I do not care. I'd rather not take a lot of damage from the big bangs, but it doesn't really matter. I can slap ribbons on everyone. And a ninja shirt for Edge. And sword groups for everyone else. Like, I've got decent gear. To keep me safe from the big bangs. So I'm not super worried about them. I can slap a curse string on someone to get everyone else up to RA1, which will help. Pink tail. Not actually relevant at all. I do not care. It's a free Adam. It's one individual free Adam and armor. I don't care. Not worth turning in. But it's another very fast check done. So let's go run Sheila. Run through Self Cave. Get these two checks taken care of. Because more fast doing the fast checks is good. They aren't boss kills, but I don't care about boss kills on the foos, honestly. Like, the extra spells are nice, sure, but I do not need them. I do not need spells for Zeromus. We'll get a nice item here that's not a uh, key item. A crystal ring? That's not... not bad. Don't really care. Moving on. Back to the overworld, we're gonna check Sheila first, and then Bedward. Bedward is a thing I forget, because I'm so used to playing with Eunice. It's fine. Totally didn't fade Bedward intentionally. We totally faded Bedward intentionally. Bedward's gonna have nothing. Or he's going to have, like, the spoon. Or the sand ruby or something like that. You know, something I don't care about. We'll just get the crystal from Sheila. It's fine. It's fine. I don't like that. Adamant does not value. Lukaki is progression, so I have to walk this out a bit. But Adamant's another dead end, so that's not great. We'll quickly check Bedward just to make sure, because I don't want to like totally fail if this is if it's the crystal. I don't think I do well if Bedward is the crystal, given that apples were right there and blizzards were in the uh, Baron item shop. But uh, we'll check it, and then we're all at like one HP, so that's that's great actually. Hey, Bedward, what you got? What you got? Because I really shouldn't have left you behind as long as I did. Earth Crystal is okay. 
That would have changed my overworld routing a bit. But it doesn't really affect my overworld. I'm going to route that in after Harp, basically. Would have changed my overworld routing slightly, but not a ton. It just means I would have done things in a slightly different order. Uh, I should throw Iron Rings on the Foos. Yeah. I'm gonna throw Iron Rings on the Foos. I'll probably just leave them on, honestly. Doesn't matter. And now we just... Rush through Cave Magnus, we're gonna get music check done. Then Zot's up next, because we'll be in the area. And it'll take me closer to the underground again, so I can do Dwarf. Warp Glitch is on, so Luka Key... Sealed Cave... Luka Key is actually useless. We do have Warp, though, so I'm not worried about it. We can Warp Glitch just fine, then we'll... Basically, we're fading Tower. We're just gonna basically super fade Tower, because I don't care about it. Okay, we got Adamant, we got Luka Key. These two are key items, are both useless, but we obtained them, I guess. More checks done. Where's the crystal? Please be here. Here would be nice. Rat Tail Turn-In will probably rush to do after Zot. If I get it, uh, Tower Key might draw me towards Tower, but Dwarf is still two checks, and so I don't think there's a reason to rush Dwarf. Oh, heck yes. This is Mystic Quest, if I'm remembering right. Yeah, this is FF Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Yeah. Hi, Bahamut. Does this do damage? It does. Good. It does not care about magic defense. So yeah, darting is actually not valuable anymore. Meteor Zerk and Weak are cool. Boom! I'm gonna take it out for the spells mostly. I want the foo spells. Zod is. Like, Harp and Zod here are not the correct plays to make, but I'm making them anyway. They're objectively incorrect. Like, Dwarf is the objectively correct play. Because there are two chances to find the uh, crystal there, and it's faster than both of these, than either of these checks. But I don't care. We're gonna do these ones. I'm gonna clear these checks instead. Maybe the crystal will be here. Because as soon as I find the crystal, that's seeds seed over. Or I get like a rat tail or a tower key from here, and then. That creates interesting, like, an extra check to do. Because, uh, the other three key items, Package, Sand, Ruby, and Darkness, are all terminal. So they don't open up anything else. We only have three terminal checks. Yeah. Or well, four terminal key items. We need to find one of them. So we basically ha always have four options at this point. If we get a terminal item, that'll reduce the number of options we have. Otherwise, the options stay the same. Uh, this will be two blizzards. Or dark plus blizzard, actually. Should work here, just as well. 
So I'll probably dart post Blizzard just because the animation I think is slightly faster. Boom. Really don't want to run into anything that absorbs ice, but that's just Ruby, and so I think we're probably going to be fine. Wow, we learned Virus on Rydia. Neat. More spells for Fu. I don't really care. He's not getting hit points anymore, but like, I guess the spells are still technically useful, maybe. Sorry, Kane, you're too late. You're not joining. Uh, we have a Dark Elf at Dwarf 2, not that I really care. I've kind of stopped caring about what bosses I'm fighting. I, I don't care anymore. Uh, we've seen Bahamut. We did see Bahamut, I do remember that, and Antlion. Hi Cecil, I also don't care about you. You can go home. We don't need you. I am making so many objectively wrong decisions. I'm going to have not a great time on this uh, seed, I don't think. Just because I'm clearing all the things. Uh, this won't kill, but this will. 4600 damage, though, is not nothing. Like, if Edge got... The more levels Edge gets, the better the uh, Excal tosses get. So there might be a point, like at some point, they would outpace the uh, J items, but right now the J items are a little more damaged. But for Rao it doesn't matter, because neither would one-shot this spot. And either way we two-shot it, so I don't really care. I think that was nuke for foos, which is good, because that's going to be a little more damage than the blizzards if I have the charm rods equipped. Zod is done. That was a Sura. I should, may as well mark it. Another check complete. And Zot was useless. It was the package. So yeah, they, these overworld chains were a waste of time other than the Baron Key. So yeah, I feel a little bad about that now. <laughs> waste of my time. We're definitely doing Dwarf. There's no way I don't do Dwarf in this scenario. The only way it bites me is if we have, like, Tower Key gated by top of Tower with Crystal behind that chain. Which is possible, yeah, but not likely, so we're just going to do Dwarf. This, I will probably go with two uh, Blizzards for this fight. DKC into Dark Elf. Uh, Dark Elf's gonna be two hits no matter what too, which is a little gross. I don't like that. Don't like seeing Dark Elf there, because it's gonna guarantee two hits for the next fight. Might throw a gun near at it. Here I'm not quite sure that the X-Tal would do it, so we're just gonna play it safe and do two blizzards. No time for justice. Only ice. Only 5,000 damage of- uh, only 5,000 ice damage. Let's go. Edge, keep getting levels. Every level he gets boosts up the damage of the x a little bit more. So, Edge getting levels is really good. Because I might be able to pivot back to darting. Although, technically, the uh, blizzards will still be a little better. Well, no. Tell is not joining. No thanks. Go Gungnir. That would have killed, actually, if this wasn't Dark Elf, who insists on taking two phases. Boom. Dwarf is done. Let's remember to warp glitch. More levels. Definitely not a bad thing. We like seeing levels. Uh, 
Okay. We'll check this first, then we'll do Warp Glitch, check that. At least I remembered that Warp Glitch is on. So this is not actually a useful item at all. Uh, we're not going to be using that. We're not really using that either. Uh, time to toss out a bunch of useless garbage. That will never be worth it. Rydia, take care of our warp. Rat tail. I'm going to go check that first. Having exit is very nice, though, I will say. I like having, like, the other spells that this party has. Yeah. Okay, darkness is useless. Rat tail is a check. So we'll go run that really quick, trying to get a tower key. Because at this point... There's not a lot left. There's not a lot of seed left. Because the moon is guaranteed haunted. So either this is Tower Key, Crystal, or Sand Ruby. Tower Key. Okay, one of the one of these two is tower is crystal, the other one is sand ruby. We're basically 17 out of 17 in this. I don't even care that there's an adamant here. Whatever. I don't need it. Top of Tower is going to take a lot of... It's going to take like four items. Ew. Four whole items. I gotta do top first, though. Ugh. Okay. Edge might be strong enough that he can start throwing x again, and it'll be better than tossing blizzards. The spoon is almost certainly going to be better than tossing a blizzard. The x might be there. Oh yeah, we've almost 17 or 17 this. Which, it's just K-Main, so that's not too bad, but still. Rough. At least we didn't fall for the hook route, because that was bait. Um, I'm going to actually slap ribbons on everyone now while I'm thinking about it. Make sure everyone's equipped for the final fight. Yeah. We don't, we don't care about your attack power, we just want you to have good magic evade. Yeah, you can take the other charm rod, that's fine. And you get a uh, silk robe. Really? this off of you, slap that on you, that'll be fine. All the magic defense, no. We just have infinite magic defense on everyone. Because that's really all I care about in this Aromas fight, is magic defense. Because <laughs> I've got all the HP I want, I've got damage that's based on my HP, so I want magic defense to take less damage. <laughs> 
Hi. I think this dart is actually going to be effective. Yeah, that's more effective. Okay, Excals are now more effective for you than Blizzards. So we'll go with that. Yeah, goodbye, Wyvern. Get crushed in a bunch of ice. I'll take these two level, two more levels there, just to make the Excals a little bit more potent for Zeromis. Ed will be darting Excals in that fight. And of course it's the Tower Key. We're gonna fully 17 out of 17 this seed. I love it. Love that it's the Tower Key from the Warp Glitch. Or, yeah, from the Rat Tail turning from the Warp Glitch. So there's a decent amount of, like key items that go into that, but definitely didn't need to do all of the things. Uh, there. Tower key. Oh, come on! We need to actually do damage here. I don't like it. We gotta hit this thing three times. Can't shortcut this with our superior damage, which would have killed it in one shot even with Edge's attack. We gotta bonk it to make it go away. Ugh. One more level for Rydia, I guess. I, that's fine. Not gonna complain. It's not really helpful. I mean, I guess the stats are good. Like, more stats are good, yes, but like, I don't really care. They do help a little, but mostly I'm worried about the good gear for magic defense. And then Boo has decent magic defense already, so like, whatever. I will be throwing up veils in the Z fight, because I do want to make sure everyone is safe and from things. I'll probably turn it down to three. Not gonna worry about the re about refill skip, that seems like too much effort. We'll just do the full damage, because it's gonna be fine. I mean we've everyone on this party has so much magic defense. We've all got Rune Rings for the plus three to Wisdom and Will, just a little bit extra to see if that gets some will to fire up. We've got decent stat sticks on everyone, at least a plus ten stick on all the mages. Could have actually given Edge the Mute Knives if I hadn't thrown them away for ten more Wisdom for him, which wouldn't have been bad. There's our Crystal. We might sub hour this. It's not looking likely, but we might. I don't think we quite do it. I'm gonna throw a foo in the middle. because I would like to have a Cursed Ring Fu going into Z. Our entire strategy here revolves around tossing blizzards. Just tossing blizzards and Excals, but mostly blizzards. Excals are only for Edge. Everyone else gets to toss blizzards. and just do as much damage as they can. We're going to throw up a Veil on every character for the, as their first turn, then a Silk Web. One person gets to throw a Silk Web, then we toss Blizzards and Excals until the fight ends. And Zeromis defeats himself. Because I would rather not take the Counter Nukes. I'd rather the Counter Nukes hit Zeromis. Just so, like, not because I would die, but because I'd like to, like, preserve my HP for better damage. You're going to queue that. Moonveils are fine. 
Doesn't don't need to reflect them either, so whatever. But yeah, let's start queuing up our veils. Gotta get a full round of veils queued. And then we can silk web and then all the good stuff. Start doing damage. I'll have to heal up individually with elixirs, but that's fine. Oh, hello. Fan of this. Okay, just middle foo needs the veil up. Why don't you toss the soul club? Even though we don't actually need to do that. Well, we still need the veil middle foo, that's fine. We'll veil him up now just to make sure that I get the counter nuke stuff after this. Nice. You're nuking yourself. That is damage. It does count. Um. You should actually do direct nukes. Do a few direct nukes. Just a few direct nukes from Fu until he runs out of MP. You're gonna throw this Fu in. Get rid of that. Direct nuke will also trigger a counter nuke, so, you know. It does a bit more damage than the blizzards. At least from that Fu. So it's just a bit better damage wise. Ninety-four hundred damage from Edge, amazing. This Big Bang really won't take off too much damage from the Blizzards. Like the Blizzards aren't going to be that much worse from this. Um, yeah, you're just Rosa and Rydia are just tossing Blizzards. That's all they're really good for. We'll probably heal up after the next Big Bang if we take one. If we take another Big Bang. But yeah, they can do like six. We're getting six thousand damage from them. Get ready on that. Boom. Okay. Phantomus, that's fine. Uh, I don't know if it's worth nuking with you. We'll see. We'll check the damage on this. Excal throw. Because that's going to be better than this. At least it's less animation time and we get basically the same damage. For so much less animation time than it takes to like sit through this whole counter nuke animation for like a tiny bit of extra damage. Okay, is your nuke worth it? Does your nuke do more than like fi No, okay. You are going to be tossing blizzards, because those are about the same damage for now. Okay, 6,000 damage per Excal is fine. Yep. Just take getting 6,000 damage in every action is pretty good. Your last nuke will throw that. Cue a blizzard from you. Keep queuing blizzards. Nice 5,000, basically 5,000 damage there. Plus the counter nuke. Always with the counter nukes to just add on a bit more. Direct nuke. Last direct nuke from that foo. That's the last of his MP. Counter nuke. There will be one that we don't get a counter nuke on, which will be the refill, unless it's edge darts through the refill. There's another reason to keep edge darting. It just guarantees the better damp that we get all that damage. Okay. Another counter nuke. Yay, more counter nukes. Boom, 6,000 more damage. Still taking counter nukes. That's fine though. Every counter nuke is more damage that Zoromus takes. Okay, you're on Blizzard tossing duty now as well. 
He should only be he shouldn't only be able to take so many actions, like. 6,000 damage is a lot to be taking. That's a tip. I don't know which tip it is, but that's a tip. We just hit a tip. That might be the Meteo tip, honestly. But yeah, that was definitely some sort of phase tip. One oh four flat. Oh great. That's not great. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised that this is last place. In game time, we were still under an hour though, that's kinda nice. Two boxes, should have been one. Yeah, so basically my I did everything wrong that scene. Because we didn't remember apples existed until I saw them. Uh, we last locationed the uh, correct check. 
Uh, but, you know, I, I did... I executed okay. I just didn't think well, if that makes sense, for that to you. Let's listen to the music again. Because it's Mr. Quest. <laughs> 